Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we've come to Port Low. Our walk today will take us from Port Low through fields and country lanes, returning along the coastal path. Today's walk comes from Classic Walks Cornwall 2, 60 circular routes, and it's Port Low and Verian Bay. Port Low is on the south coast of Cornwall between St Moors and then the Gizzy. So today we've parked up in a tiny little car park in Port Low. Look, it only takes half a dozen cars or so, quite easy to miss, especially if you come in on the wrong road. So we've parked in the Port Low Village car park, it's £2, Monday to Sunday, that's 9 until 5, that's reasonable, so there's an honesty box here, there it is. So our first walk instruction, return to the road and turn left walking uphill, pass a residential road on the right, a footpath sign on the left here should be ignored, that's reassuring, yeah we were beginning to think we'd miss those two landmarks. Stay on the road to pass driveway entrance with slate posts. Take the next right from this point through a kissing gate marked footpath sign. A bit tight. Ooh, that is narrow. What a view. So at the end of the garden wall, take a half left bearing across the field. Obviously there's some cows up there so we're going to need to be a bit careful with the doggies. We've had to retreat because they've all followed us over. Hello boys. I suppose you think you're all going to get fed now, do you? We're going to continue walking up the road. Okay, so what's our plan? Okay, well we've abandoned going through the field with the cows. Yeah. I think they took a shine into you. They followed you. Oh, very funny. They liked you. Anyway, we've come back onto the road here. Yeah. We're going to go up this road, and then we're going to try and turn right at the top, and hopefully it's marked down to Port Holland, so then we'll, we'll basically try and meet up at that point there. So now we're going through somewhere called Trevisky. Rhymes with Pisky. Pisky's of Trevisky. <laughs> Some impressive cock. That one's VR, that's been here a while. I think you've had a run on eggs. <laughs> Port Holland and Car Hayes. That way, that should join up with the walk instructions. So we're now looking for a little road junction on the right which is where the walk would have brought us out onto this road anyway. It's a really quiet little road. No need to worry about the traffic. We've hardly seen any. I think we've seen one car. So here we found a public footpath sign down that lane, which says to Craggan Farm, as mentioned in the instructions. So I think we would have come up there. Look at them. Mmm, very sweet. You know what blackberry's going, don't you? My mouth. No, a pie. <laughs> Still rather have it in a pie. It's just looking through a farmer's gate, some sheep in the field, Dobman Point in the background there, and the sea! Take the next right hand turn, follow the road indicated as a public bridleway. At the end of the road, just before Morver Cottage, bear right to follow a grassy track. Walk ahead before bearing right to reach a junction of paths with a three finger waymark post. It's glorious isn't it, look at that. So where's that then? Well that's Dobman Point, so mm -hmm. coming around the bay you'll be coming back towards Car Hayes, must be just behind one of these little hills here. Oh we've done that on another We walk, have, we? and West Port Holland, East Port Holland. That's... Yeah the cliff path is quite steep. Nice spot for a pasty. Oh. Look at that view. That's glorious, isn't it? Look at that. A little cove down there. Let's go. Do you think we can get down there? Let's try. Secret cove. Yeah. I think you need a boat to get to that one. A tiny little boat there, and there's some people on that little cove. I think they've sailed around. The walk instructions just tell us to simply follow the coast path all the way back to Port Low. Shouldn't be too difficult, no. should it? Trigenna. Going the right way? Yes, Trigenna's on the map. Thank you. You are certainly rewarded for your little climb up the cliff top here. 
glorious, glorious view today. Just about to head back around the corner and back to Port Lowe. So as we're looking along the coast there, the little village is Port Holland. I think that's East Port Holland. And then you go around to Port Looney Beach and into Carhaze Castle. I love Port Looney. It's got a great name, isn't it? Port Looney! That's where I be from! So Carhaze holds the National Collection of Magnolias and it is open only for a short period of time. You need to check the website, but it's something like February to June. And that gives you the opportunity to see the magnolias in all their magnificence. <laughs> I love it when the sun lights up the rocks through the water. They look so pretty. The colours of the greens and the browns are beautiful, isn't it? Looking up the coast there, you've got little East Port Holland snuggled into the countryside, isn't it? So what do you think of the walk so far then? Fabulous walk today, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think if I was actually doing this walk, go and had a had a choice of it, I'd probably start in Port Lowe, Yeah. Come along the coast, and actually walk this way and walk down actually all the into way Port to Port Holland, Holland. Have a cup of tea. That would be a good cake, idea. Let the sun's on it. And now. then I would come back again. Maybe we should reserve judgment and see what the view is like when we come into Port Lowe. Might be just as pretty. Wow. Okay. That's probably an even better view. Look at that. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, that is stunning. Okay. What's that noise? Oh, wow. Property, well, look look at that. Brand new house going wow. in. <laughs> We've lost quite a lot of height quite quickly. How steep that was. Oh. How do they get down there? Down there crabbing. Good day for it. So this coastal path isn't so easy to walk, is it? No, I'm feeling a bit tired. Yes, it is ups and downs. It's making it hard work actually, or I'm is that the heat? Puffing. <laughs> yeah, I could do with a nice glass of something. In memory of Johnny Dingle. Well, that's a superb little bench. Lovely little spot. They've even been kind enough to put some water down for the doggies. A great big thank you from a doggy owner to whoever does that. It is absolutely phenomenal. You say thank you, don't you, boy? I think that's the old lookout, so we must be getting closer to Port Lowe now. Beautiful Port Lowe. That's the old lifeboat station. There's the view. Beautiful gold pouting here somewhere. He's different. Look at that. It's pouting. It's a pouting, yeah. He's got a little barbell under his oh, wow. under his jaw. And it was amazing. Golden golden colour when he was there. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Fantastic, aren't they? <laughs> the roads are very, very narrow. The bus just about gets through. It's a bit tricky. Well done. Afternoon. Afternoon. 
Cheers. Shipping. Lovely little pub, isn't it? That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What I love about Portlow is every corner you turn you want to film and photograph. It's so quaint and gorgeous and picturesque. Today's walk comes from Classic Walks Cornwall 2, 60 circular routes. It's number 30, three and a half miles long, time two hours is a good reference for you. And it's Portlow and Verian Bay. So if we look at the map, we start in Portlow, go up this road, this is where we met some cows and we ended up, went all the way along the road, in total we were on the road for about half an hour. Went down towards the coast, there were stunning views then over to Dobman Point and we've walked along this coastal path here back to Portlow. I walked today from Portlow, most beautiful little fishing village. We're about to have a bit of a detour. Consult the map. I didn't think the map was that helpful. It just showed you the road. It could have given you maybe a name of a hamlet or something. We had nothing to go on, really winging it. I was, I was feeling a bit uncomfortable at that point. But we did get to the coast, picked it up again, and the views... Oh, the views are tremendous. It's well worthwhile. Yes, You yeah. are certainly rewarded with some beautiful views. Now, you did point out you thought it might be better the other way, going towards West Port Holland. Do you still think that? I think whichever way you go, it's a stunning walk, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, I agree with you. So what would you score today's walk? Um, I think it's been quite difficult in places, especially along the coast path. I think I would give it an 8 out of 10. A difficult walk at times and, and map, map wasn't that useful. So yeah, an 8 out of 10 I think is fair. Mm -hmm.